deputy escalated political violence between the PF and UPND cadres in four provinces. The Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, has with immediate effect suspended campaign activities in Lusaka, Palungo, Nakonde and Namwala. ECZ Chief Electoral Officer Patrick Nshindano says that the ECZ has invoked Article 229 and provisions of the Electoral Code of Conduct to suspend the PF's and UPND's campaigns in the affected districts. Details in the following report by Hano Kasama. The suspension will be reviewed after 14 days. The Commission has since written to the affected Secretary Generals, informing them of this decision. This is the third following the escalating political violence that the country has experienced lately. Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, Chief Electoral Officer Patrick Nshindano, has made the announcement during a media briefing in Lusaka. The Commission has pursuant to Article 229, sub-Article 2E of the Republican Constitution, and subparagraphs 41 C D I and 11 D of the Electoral Code of Conduct suspended with immediate effect all manner of political campaigns for the Patriotic Front and the United Party for National Development in Lusaka, Pulungu, Namwala, and Nakonde districts. Mr. Shindano also announced the suspension of roadshow campaigns. As the findings on the ground indicate that the roadshows are not only in breach of the COVID-19 protocols, but also the electoral code of conduct. Political parties have merely converted the roadshows into mobile rallies. However, the Patriotic Front, PF, and United Party for National Development, UPND, have opposed the suspension of the activities in Lusaka, Mpulungu, Nakonde, and Namala districts. PF Secretary General Davis Miller said this that should have suspended campaigns for the UPND in the four districts. So the decision by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, to ban the Patriot Front alongside the UPND from conducting uh, political campaigns in Lusaka, Namwala, Purungu and Nakonde is unfair and unjust against the Patriot Front which is actually a victim of the UPND. But United right, Party for National Development, then UPND, said, okay, Deputy Secretary General for Administration, so far, Deputy had Demenda, have refuted sir. claims that the UPND, UPND is instigating political mm -hmm. violence. Now, who has been the aggressor? How did the PF find themselves in the path of UPND where they are holding roadshows? I thought we had agreed with the police that's why we notify the police. We had agreed with the police that UPND will have a road shows in these places. Zambia goes to the poll on August 12, 2021. This is in line with Article 56 of the Constitution that stipulates that the country must hold general elections every five years on the second Thursday of August. Hanok Kasama, ZNBC News in Lusaka.